You damn kids and your short attention spans. If you don't watch the whole thing, you're not going to learn how to do it. Oh, look at this one. I'm going to walk you through creating an X-Powder profile from scratch. So my last X-Powder video was, uh, you know, getting the controller mapped in. You know, so we got the controller mapped in. Uh, I want to make a new profile. So first thing I'm going to want to do, we're going to click on new. Let's just go ahead and save as. Uh, I'm going to call this... Savage Lands. It looks like I had already started one, but I never finished it. We're going to save over it. Yep. Overwrite. So now I have Savage Lands, the old existential egg. Uh, and then... I mean, I don't even have to look at the controls to know. We're going to have mouse movement here, so... We just want to do mouse normal. And that gets it in now. I'll test that with my controller. Yeah. It's a little slow. So you can go to settings. Oh, mouse settings. Yeah, we're down at 32. So I'm going to move together. Let's put that... Uh, this doesn't feel like it's going to be a game where I'm going to want to move super fast. We'll go to 60. You can also, instead of going through double clicks, just click mouse settings, and that would pull that straight up. So, okay, we got that. We know we're going to need WASD, so that we can just map, boom, WASD, it automatically puts it in there. And pretty much no trigger, we're going to want left click on the right trigger and right click on the left trigger. That's That'll pretty much apply to every game you make something for. So, now let me pick up the controller. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Let's look at the key config. So we got WASD, space for jump, E to activate. So, I think I'm gonna go... I don't know if I want to do like a bumper jumper on this. Yeah, we'll just do basic. Space. Let's label that. Jump. I'm gonna want this for use. Or we'll do action. E. Left shift is sprint. Left control is walk. All right. So here is where it's gonna get a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to want to click on the W, and I like, just, this is just a personal preference, but I like to do the range of the stick, that just feels really good to me. So I'm going to click on Advanced, we're going to go to Add a Distance Zone, or no, first let's do Left Control, and W, that'll be a slow walk. And then distance up to, uh, let's go, yeah, let's go 20. So then anything below 20% is going to be a slow walk. Past 20% will be a walk at another distance zone. And then let's pop that up all the way. So then the stick pushed all the way will be W and shift for run. Right, and then you can see here, it's kind of telling you, like, hey, you got you got some special modifiers. So if you ever open up a profile of mine and you want to edit it and you don't see, click in the advanced, and that's going to show you where everything is. And let's go ahead and do um, walk. Uh, Run, just so I know it's... It's modified. And let's test that out. Okay, going to the normal. And then sprinting.
Okay, yeah, that feels pretty good. So we got slow walk. Inventory is I. Now I'm gonna do... I'm gonna follow what I've done in some other games. I get used to that. I... The old B button being inventory. Let's just do I and B. I. Ah, inventory. B also feels really good for dropping stuff, though, too. So, yeah, let's, let's add, if you tap B, it's going to be inventory. If you hold it, it's going to be a drop. So, let's get in here. We're going to want... A hold inventory hold release drop make that point one make this I usually go with twenty and then you're always gonna want this to be Oops. One more. So let's test that out. Actually, uh, one way you can test this would be... Uh, well, I could even do it right here. So let me make a space, and I'm just going to push B in my controller, or O in my PlayStation controller. Push it once, it's I. Hold it, it's G. Uh, let's see, I did it backwards. It's not doing the... When I hold it, it's pushing I also, so yeah. That's a good learning experience. So, what we want to do is reverse that. I always forget... It's the, uh... The release zone first. So, release... Release... Hold. Alright, that should be the way you want to do it. So I push I for my inventory. Push it again. Hold it, drop it. You pick it up. Okay, oh, my <laughs> I'm gonna end up dying. I'm gonna freeze to death. Well, that's alright, because we're, uh, we're fussing with other stuff. So let's go back to the key config. Alright, so... Alright, let's, uh, let's... Let's make the inventory or drop. Okay. Um... Let's make this... voice, uh, and let's make it, wait, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this, I'm, I was thinking of kind of copying my DayZ profile where I had inventory as the voice, but this doesn't feel like a game I'm gonna use voice very often. But let's make it a toggle. So that way, instead of uh, having to hold it, I just push it once, it'll stay on. And that's the little blue line underneath of it. You okay, buddy? You're gonna. You're, oh yeah, you're. You're nearly dead. All right. K is to craft. K and J. K. Crafting. J, okay. Let's... Yeah, that'll work nice up on the Y. Let's put that up here. Uh, let's go back. So let's go... 
crafting. Then journal. journal okay and mouse wheel is going through that hot bar so I think yeah, you're gonna you're dying <laughs> he's gonna be dead by the end of this yeah let's go up and down as the mouse wheel or well no, that'll work. So what else do I want to put in here? <laughs> yeah, let's just go to the main menu for now. Alright, toggle HUD. It's H. Let's stick that over here for now. And I think... Yeah, I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna give myself... Bumper Jumper Options. So it does work out pretty nice. And then let's make this... Let's make this a turbo. So if you click in here, and then if we go into Advanced... So we can see how fast it's going to push it. Now what that will do is, uh, basically if there's a bunch of things laying around, I don't have to keep tapping the action button. I can just hold it and it's spamming it out. So I think I got pretty much everything in here. Maybe, yeah, I don't need this up here. Let's just delete this out. I want it to be the crafting. And let's put the journal down here. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really need... Let's make this uh, escape so we have menu. I didn't even need the clicks. Hmm. Well, I could do the uh, click to run. That's that. Maybe that'll be a lesson for another time. It's not as easy as you think it is. Basically, you have to duplicate this whole set and put it on another set. It. I don't know, I just, it, it's a preference. I would rather just push the stick all the way forward and run. But I know a lot of people coming from standard first-person shooters really want that click to run. Which, like I said, it's preference. Alright, so let's, uh... Now, the reason I like the, uh... Bumper jumper, the bumper bumper button for the jump is because you can jump easily while still looking around instead of having to take your thumb off of the right stick and then jump. If you want to get it <laughs> to where you're really liking it, you're just you're gonna have to experiment, you're gonna have to test around. And it took me a while to figure out where I like to put you know, where I like to put the things. And I don't do it the same on every game. So hopefully you found it informative and you watched the whole damn thing. But alright, that's all I got. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I got a pretty nice foundation here. I mean, clearly, you know, like I'm saying, you just gotta play, you gotta test. I might 
completely change this once I start playing it and realize I use specific functions in this game way more than I do in some other game. So there you have it, making a profile from scratch. I have to stop, or I'll just keep rambling on forever. And that's the thing, I mean, you know, when you're watching a video, you just want someone to get to the point and stop. Oh! Arma 3 with a controller. This might take a little bit of time. Yes, you get the... <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> Shit. Red. The color of my car. Oh, sorry. I did a little lay Miz there. Oh, I suck. You suck so bad, you should be a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I know. Shut up.